Hello and welcome in this video uh, for an exercise from Cambridge interview problem. This exercise is this one. If x equals square root of 3 plus square root of 8, what is the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed? If you know how to deal with such an exercise, please give a try and pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. So, first step, this is to modify the square root. When you deal with a square root, this is always easy when the quantity below the root is a perfect square. For example, if you want to calculate the value of square root of x squared, this is it. So, because we've got a plus between these two terms, we are going to use this remarkable identity, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, this is a plus b squared. So first, let's take care of square root of 8. Square root of 8, this is square root of 2 times 2 squared, this is 2 times 1 times square root of 2. Now, Let's take care of 3. 3 can be written as 1 plus 2. This is 1 squared plus square root of 2 squared. Now, we can plug this under the root to get 1 squared plus 2 times 1 times square root of 2 plus square root of 2 squared. So you end up with square root of 1 plus square root of 2 squared and this is 1 plus square root of 2. So far we just modify and we know we can write that x equals to 1 plus square root of 2. Then, the next step, this is to calculate 1 over x. So, 1 over x equals 1 over 1 plus square root of 2. Once again, we would like to modify this, and the idea is just to multiply and to divide at the same time by the same quantity, which is, which is the conjugate. Instead of a plus, you've got a minus. And the denominator part, if you want to simplify, you will use this remarkable identity, which is a minus b times a plus b equals to a squared minus b squared. So, 1 over x, this is 1 minus square root of 2, divided by 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So at the end, you got 1 over x equals to negative 1 plus square root of 2. Now, if we want to calculate the value of x plus 1 over x, this is 1 plus square root of 2 minus 1 plus square root of 2. So you can simplify because 1 minus 1, this is 0. At the end, you've got 2 square root of 2. So, if you recap, you know now the value of x plus 1 over x. This is 2 square root of 2. 
you are looking for the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. The idea is to cube both sides of the equation. And to use this remarkable identity, a plus b to the third power equals to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. Let's apply this. In this case, a equals x and b equals to 1 over x. So we got x plus 1 over x to the third power. This is what? x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x equals to 2 square root of 2 to the third power. Now, we can simplify by cancelling out x and x. And we obtain at the end x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times x plus 1 over x. And this is 8. This is 2 to the third power. And if you calculate square root of 2 to the third power, this is 2 square root of 2. So at the end, you got 16 square root of 2. Next step is to put this quantity on the other side of the equation. So we got x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. This is... 16 square root of 2 minus 3 and you plug the value of x plus 1 over x. This is 2 square root of 2. So x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. This is 16 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2. So you end up with 10 square root of 2. So, thank you for uh, watching this video. Please feel free to leave me comments and I see you in uh, another video.